Hello again, this is Carlos Garcia. Welcome on this Monday back to my YouTube channel. I'm going to, um, this might be a hard lesson for some, but it'll come all together at the end. And that the title of this message is called Cutting Them Loose. So let's begin. Um, first of all, before we get into it though, I want you all to examine 1 Corinthians 15, 12 through 34. I kind of want you all to read that before we go on. Um, I mean, I'll compose this video or whatever y'all need to before we go on. And these uh, verses talk about the resurrection of the dead. But there is one verse I wanted to focus on. 1 Corinthians 15.33 Do not be deceived, but bad company ruins good morals. With this, I am going to talk about one of Satan's tactics encroaching with friendships that are not healthy. This applies to relationships or marriages too, but since I'm single, I don't have a right to talk about relationships or marriages because I don't have, um, I don't have experience in that. In a little bit, I will give an example of this. So no one has to go through and why I think it was the best thing. Regardless if you are single or married, the truth is I think we all encountered people that say they are our friends. But the truth is they are not. I know I have encountered this a bunch in college. And I have literally told some people, no, you're not my friend. I think many people do this to make other people feel comfortable. But when something happens, they don't show up or are never there. When this happens, you should ask yourself, are they really my friend? I completely understand that letting friends or so-called friends go, but sometimes you might have to cut them out of your life. This has to happen if it causes you to stumble or if it just is a flirting friendship. This also has to happen if you feel like they take complete advantage or you feel you were toyed with emotionally. And I put this in parentheses, making the person think you want a relationship with them. What I mean by that is you can have a person flirt with you and toy with you and they're making think you think they want a relationship, but they, they don't. This is not pure, and God does not want this for our life. I have a perfect example of this, and no one should go through it. This will be a very generalized example, as if I wrote all the details that take forever. The example I'm about to give is a weird example that I experienced for a while in a few months ago. I finally, when I wrote this a few months ago, I finally was so mad, I had to make the choice to cut them out of my life. This was for purity purposes, and honestly, I felt so much better after I did it. It goes like this. One woman and I exchanged numbers when I was in college. This was my undergraduate degree. I made, made a very big mistake by doing this. I felt like she toyed with my emotions for about 
seven plus years, I kept getting upset at her behavior and calling her out on the reason I did this because I was like, do you want to be in a relationship or not? There was some stuff I told her that she didn't want to hear, regardless of what I said, right or wrong. I saw it as a flirting friendship and not a real relationship. All I have to say is there are many fake people out there. No one should have to go through this like I did because I felt it was not pure and false hope. Please do not feel bad for me, for my stupid butt should have seen this coming. It took me a while to see it coming. This is why months ago I felt good to get her out of my life. I am not saying to judge her, but I'm saying this from a Christianity standpoint. I don't regret my decision. I really think she thought it was funny. Regardless of this was done on purpose or not, some people have to cut them loose at times and don't, and don't go back to that person. This may not make you feel good at first, but you will feel so much better not worrying about them. This is why I am very picky about who my friends are. The lesson learned from this is so I am more of aware of how fake people can be. Although COVID has been, a, although this year has been a difficult year and for many for COVID, for me, this is a better year without worrying about her, which technically was last year, but this is when I wrote it. My whole point to this is not for you to feel sorry for me or being rude, but we had to cut them out of our lives at times. I understand how hard this can be, but God doesn't want us to be their friend if it causes uh, you to be un impure or causes you to only focus on them and not God. This is why not all friendships are healthy. And to be honest, most people are going to have a few true and real friends. This is why I focused on 1 Corinthians 15.33, because bad company does corrupt good character. I want to emphasize that again. Bad company does corrupt good character. Lastly, no one should have to experience things that way. If you find friendships that are not pure, it may be your time to run. So, let's summarize that in a nutshell because that might be uh, kind of a lot of information. Um, so I'm not here to pick on any girl, any woman, or anything like that. But all my main focus was, was if friendships, relationships, or marriages, hopefully not marriages, relationships, friendships, if they cause you to stumble, especially friendships because you're just getting another person, then sometimes you got to cut them loose. And in my case, I had to cut them loose because uh, some wishy-washy uh, wishy mindset was going on there. And I just did not want that in my life. And... um. 
God wants us just to focus on Him. And uh, you shouldn't come across a person who may think, make you think they want a relationship with you, but they don't ha want to have anything to do with you. And like I said earlier, if you find those kinds of friends who will not help you build up through Christ or will not help you with anything and just be there for the good times, the question is, are they really your friend? And more than likely, no. Like, I literally had to tell some people, you're not my friend. And I know it sounds harsh, but many people are just there for the good and not the bad. Well, um, in my case, so I got disability. And a lot of people do not know how to respond and react to it. But to tell you the truth, you're only going to have a few friends in life. And the thing is, people need to know me for who I am before I allow them to be my friend. Okay, I know that might sound hard because some friends sound good and you're comfortable, but God might tell you to cut them loose as a goose. <laughs> I know that's funny. Um, but on a serious note, God might, may not want you to be with that friend anymore and make actual friends, if you know what I mean. He may not want you to be with that person no more. And you might try you might need to pursue another person. He might call you to do it. Well, that's the end of my lesson today. This is Carlos Garcia. Um, if you like what you hear and you like what you see, like and subscribe to the channel and hit that notification icon, the bell icon, and turn on notifications on your phone so you won't miss a thing that I have to say. And I try to shoot this every Monday, a recording. Well, uh, thank you for listening. Have a good week. God bless you all.